My grandma has a deep fear of death. And I think it was these things that motivated her to become a sponsor of a group of people in this country whose um, sole purpose is to perpetuate euthanasia in our country. It's called the Hemlock Society. Which is now called what? I'm not really sure. Compassionate Choices. That's the same organization? That's the same organization. I was not aware of that. So we're sitting there watching the euthanasia deception. By right. watching this program, from the start of the program to the end of that program, she flipped 180 degrees about her view about euthanasia. She said, I think some people are very vulnerable and that uh, euthanasia would be dangerous towards them. I do not think that the quality of life argument applies anymore. That the quality of life is much determined upon um, who will support you, who loves you. She was especially very much frightened herself for the people who had disabilities, herself. She said that she had never considered that they would be considered to not have value to have life. The quality of life argument falls short. My grandmother is, like the, is the most important person in my life. Uh, she has been from a very young age. She filled in a, in a parental role. And it would be a great honor for me to be able to accompany her as, as she were, if she were to more, grow more and more dependent. It, it's a great honor for me to be able to participate in that with her. And for me to know that she was not going to seek out um, to end her life is a tremendous comfort for me.